Star guys. Good message for the bed. When I was talking about how our uh, vessels are like a garden bed and our soil laid in our spirits and different seeds from this world and, and if, if you're in tune with the spirit you have the Holy Spirit seeds from his word renewing your mind are planted as well and a lot of believers today black hearers they're only hearers of the word but it's like they can't receive from God they don't receive they like to listen to good theology they like theologians but it's almost like they're no different than the Pharisees were it's like when Jesus came down and they couldn't receive from him at all. They could only hear him, but they could receive. It's like Jesus, like, when you're planting seeds, not just when people are being born again, but messages within scriptures, that's when it says that when you're in the synagogues and they don't receive from you, dust your shoes off and walk the other way and get out. Just like the Pharisees were when they could not receive from the Holy Spirit. They only hear heard him and it made him angry every time. Most churches and this is where it gets dangerous and you're walking on dangerous territory that most churches and believers are like this. They're hearers. And I'm talk I'm not talking about working or works. I'm talking about actually being able to receive Holy Spirit and going through with it and too many people get that confused with works and it's not you're able to receive from the Holy Spirit and you're a doer most I will call them businesses or establishments because they're not really churches that they're just hearers but they're not receivers Preachers that they're not doers of the word. It also talks about being a doer. You would be honored in heaven by God's Father and seen as His family. I believe a lot of this goes into when He says, On that day, a lot of people will say, Most will say, Lord, Lord, have we done this and that? But those are the ones that never really received from Him. They were trying to do it in their own fancy ways. And it's not, not even about that. In order to be like, I would say to a lot of people, even new believers today, that in order for you to receive from God, you need to be open to it. And that sounds like a crazy like something crazy to say, but even scriptures believers I know today that you go to and talk to them about it today, they don't receive it, but another believer receives it. Why is that? Or like I'll say that in general, why is it that? I'm not trying to whisper. There's other people asleep, but why is it that? So many so many, like some believers will receive things that are biblical, biblical, and others won't because their vessels are open. And it's just like Holy Spirit planted the seed in them and they received it. But others had the seed planted to them and as soon as it hit the soil, it died. Or it hit the soil and it didn't take root, it didn't flourish prosper, you know, even in um, Matthew where it talks about sowing seeds and like being like a farmer where you're going around sowing seeds. It's just like that. Some people will just imagine it like this, like some seeds or some seeds were planted and they took root 
and grew, and others didn't. And that's why also you have these uh, believers in Ritek are not really believers. They think they are, but they're not. Um, or these other theologians that had seeds planted into their spirits that were just about a bunch of theology, but never really um, the voice of the Holy Spirit. It wasn't any special seed. It was just the theology things of the world blended in with scripture and really it's just not biblical and that's all I want to say in order to receive God's spirit you must first be open to it and yes I can say yes you have the Holy Spirit so you should receive from it yes that is true but at the same time you know I will, I will, I'll leave it at this, that the carnal mind of man cannot receive the things of the Lord. You know, a lot of times we can blame the enemy, we can blame other people, you know, but that scripture in itself does make sense as well because I can bring up one more thing of that. Why is it that God, especially in times of pit, turn people over to a reprobate mind. You know, believing in their own mind, carnal mind, the carnality of man cannot receive from them. But because they bought into that lie and that seed that was implanted by the world, by the enemy, you know, opinion, whatever, and it took root and grew. And I believe that goes into the reprobate mind as well. If you want to see it into more of a spiritual aspect, there it is. That's a group. And it wasn't Holy Spirit inspired at all. So, um, the carnality. the seed of receiving that's what it is a seed to receive amen fire us God's people have a nice time in Jesus name amen